taken from the book Stories and Tales of the Rhaenyra. The Ways of Magic The paths of the arcana are enigmatic, unknown most of the time, many investigations and meditations hardly manage, even for us archmages, to open for us the paths of real and deep knowledge of the last source of wisdom. This is how intricate the paths of the arcana are, a true enigma. But what brings us together today is not precisely to philosophize about the arcana itself as a studyable whole, but to talk about the ways or roots of magic and with this I want to make the difference between the ways of magic and the roots or teachings of the arcana. In this sense we must see that the arcana is a whole and magic understood in that sense is only a part of the whole gigantic and unfathomable terrain of the arcana that vivifies all things. Even in a very strict sense, we refer to the ways of magic to the way in which we obtain the arcana, understood as energy to produce magic. This is because so far we have studied and know more or less three ways to materialize magic on our plane, the first and most common, with which all neo-magicians manifest their nature and with which they tend to wake up the arcana surprisingly many times, it is known as the inner arcana, the path of the vital force. The second of a more complex level to train and manipulate is the one known as the externalization path, through which the inner arcana or vital force is used and the one that comes from nature that clearly seems or should be infinite, there is no studies that have shown otherwise, so for the moment we believe so. The last method of which we do not know too much and that only a handful of magicians will manage to reach it, is the method of complete nature, that is, the arcana is extracted from its very source, being able to specify the greatest wonders. It is important, my dear students, that you understand well what each of these paths is about and the difficulties that each one entails, since from their use it is possible to obtain different magical effects. Let's take a brief look at each of them. The path of vital energy or inner force is quite limited but we must not ignore the enormous speed with which magics can be invoked using our own vital force, of course, as in all magic this entails a danger, known for we like the mental fall, if you use all your source of arcana it is more than likely that you will suffer the mental fall, which consists simply of using more arcana than available and therefore falling faded until that energy recovers, that is to say, you faint. This detrimental effect has been studied a lot, the adverse effects outside of this are unknown, we are not sure if in the long run repeatedly falling into the mental fall can bring any effect beyond the obvious, but in itself it remains several hours or even days in a state of unconsciousness, it is quite serious. All of the aforementioned will be studied in greater detail in this subject, but for now you should know that the greatest point in favor is that this path quickly provides us with arcana. To its detriment, it should be noted that the arcana that can be obtained from this method is limited and therefore the most complex magics are not executable in this way, of course it will depend a lot on each individual, but it is a factor of the utmost importance. Through the mixed root or externalization it is possible to summon much greater forces, because the arcana disposition is also much greater, this because you not only have the available one inside you, but also the one in the environment, and as you might expect, the arcana, as the vitalizing energy of all things, is much more abundant in the environment than in our own body. For all the above it is possible to obtain a greater arcana disposition and achieve greater and more powerful enchantments. The cost of course is what we call the time versus the word of power, a spell that only uses the arcana of the individual is much faster and requires, for experienced magicians, only desire. Words of power become unnecessary, it is the magician's mind acting on himself with full mastery, but when it comes to mastering the arcana over external matter, nature, it is a much greater feat and therefore takes much longer and requires greater words of power. You already know that the words of power are our weapons to tame the arcana, they are the links that unite our enchantments and that serve to shape the desires of the mind, of the being, of the individual, in this case, of the magician, it is the a force that channels wishes and makes them come true, that is the force of words of power, 
a gift that magicians have and that not long ago also had the paladins to a lesser extent. Finally, I want to talk to you about the most complex method and about which we know little so far, in fact it is very likely that a couple of the eight magicians can handle it to a certain point, the so-called complete nature or absolute essence, there is not much information about it since its form of use and learning method is kept hidden for all magicians, except for the eight, this because it is too powerful and at the same time very complex to achieve, I will only tell you that its power is so great, that it is enough by forming the correct power words and taking the arcana from the same source, or so it is believed, you will be able to shape any reality, at least in theory. There are many spells and incantations prohibited by the magic schools that seem to be identified under the second method at an advanced level and with the third method, for the same reason and because of their overwhelming power of destruction is that the magicians of the black school seek and capture magicians who use and abuse these forbidden magics, I hope none of you try to achieve these magics, that's why there are only books and grimoires that name them in schools, but none of them teach how to perform them, so don't even try to search about them in the library, they can only be transmitted by word of mouth, but the black magicians have done a great job eradicating this kind of Therianor's works, the control of the magicians to be able to live in peace with the nomads is imperative and for the same reason I recommend proceed with caution, for your sake and that of all wizards, it would be a shame to me if any of you were required by black wizards for this reason. It's all for today, you can leave with the protection of the gods. Aldinus, Archmage of the White School of Eregmador teaching at the School of White Magic. If you like our work, do not forget to like it and subscribe to receive notifications of our next stories. If you want to support our editorial project, you can follow us on Patreon, where you will find our project in more details or support directly through flow in the description links.